go. Hello, welcome. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Friday. I'm still sipping on some coffee. All right, let's uh, see what we can do today. So I added this um, yesterday after stream. I wanted to figure out how I was going to do um, the bus. And this is what I settled on. Because once I figured out exactly how many belts we needed. So we've got the one running down for the batteries. And then I only needed six belts um, to go upstairs. So I figured spreading it out like this would be, be a fun way to do it. And then um, I just made this blueprint for... Uh, similar section of a different factory and I think I'm gonna use it here so it's basically just a uh, concrete pillar with portrait on the outside and I believe it should be the same color as what I've already used okay so I don't they're not the same brightness so let's change it so it all looks the same wonder what do I three and glossy. Alright, so let's just edit it real quick. It'll be way easier to change in the blueprint. Alright, so three and glossy. Cool. And save. Clear it, and you know we'll just leave it there because there's. I know for a fact I'm going to be using more blueprints that I haven't made yet, so that's actually going to be a big chunk. All right, so make sure the arrow is facing the right way, and let's see what it looks like. I really should have put it on. I still feel like these are like brighter somehow. But maybe it's just, just me. And let's uh, let's make sure. Yeah, three and glossy. So I mean, I'm gonna assume maybe I'm like 99% sure. To, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yep, same color. Okay. Well. Let's just place it behind the rest of these. I'm hoping this will give it a really cool look with the lifts moving. Or it's going to look really bad, and um, thankfully they're blueprints, so it'll be really quick to fix. Since the portraits are, I think, like three meters high, the easiest uh, or shortest distance that was like even uh, was to do this as three foundations tall, which thankfully right here works out perfect, I think. Yeah. So, or else I would just manually place the very last one. All right, so. So far, so good. All right, so let's go grab a whole bunch more quartz. gotta make sure I'm actually snapping it to the blueprint and not the um, the wall behind it
let's uh, let's get these hooked up. Okay, so I think I got oh good, I even left myself. <clears throat> well, one note. Well, I guess I labeled this one too. Oh yeah, so that's the fifty-six point two five, and then we're gonna combine with. Feels like that's way more, but I think that might just be two single machines. Is that how I? I already forgotten. And this is what happens. I worked on the crystal oscillator factory a little bit, so now I really need to leave more <laughs> signs for myself. <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm gonna trust myself that. I got it all right. Well, I know that there's only one for copper sheets, one for caterium, the two for the steel ingots. I'll just go to one machine basically. So I think, um, so I think that's 750 and I, I'm guessing that means, oh no, that's the copper sheet. I swear there was more. Is that how much that's going upstairs? Let's double check. So, let's see, we've got, so upstairs is gonna need 1167, just round up, plus 224. So 1391 minus 750. Oh, okay, so it is just these two. All right, well then. All right, so it looks like we have everything. Um, And how do we want to do this? So depending on what order they get plugged in will kind of dictate where they're going, I think. So I guess I need to figure out that part. Oh, I didn't even realize I left one there. That's so funny. Um. didn't cover this because like part of me was kind of hoping I could fit everything in and that would just be like instead of making a big square you know it would be a square a smaller square on top of a bigger rectangle but let's see okay so I don't think I've made any of these factories right nope and I don't think I've made any quite like I'm looking to make so all right so I need So I need one for So I need 14 assemblies for that, 17 for that one, 12 for that one, 13 for that one, 8 for that one. And then 13 constructors. Okay. So basically I just need to make one for the constructors and one for assemblers. So I think I've got that blank one, right? Was it under foundations? Uh, refinery is empty. Oh, I went to my blueprints instead of loading blueprints. I've definitely done that a few times. Okay, so this one is the empty one. Cool. Alright, so I think... Ah, this is where it's gonna get tricky. I think I wanna do the constructors like far back on this way and then, you know, have them feed up to here. I think. Or I mean, I could do, I don't have to do the rows in the same, I don't have to do them this way. I could do rows this way if I wanted. I actually do think I'm gonna have plenty of space up here. I don't think I'm gonna need that extra. Let's figure this out. Okay, so let's uh, let's assume I don't need it. So is this where? Okay, so I probably want it to come out. Is that one more, basically? I think so. Let's 
foundation. So is that? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I might as well keep yeah, the walkway hole. Okay, so I am pretty sure I'm going to have plenty of space up here. able to space things out pretty easily. Alright, let's Okay. So out of curiosity though, so if I gave myself so yeah it's that one. We'll give myself three by three because it's plenty of space. <coughs> Alright, so just for reference, I'm just going to drop this down just in case I want to know later. So it's 22. Oh, let's do a spot where I can actually go. One, two, three. All right. So, and then leave the same three. So how many was that? So we're working with. 28 by 22, or vice versa. Okay. And I'm pretty sure both our assemblers, assemblers can fit in two foundations. And the most I needed to put, oh, was 17. Okay. So that's not going to fit in a single line. So that's fine. We can do that one in two. But we can do So if I do it the same way, I can fit 14, which would let me do all of them but one in a single row. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, that's probably the best bet. Well, if that's the case, let's, it's because I'm so bad at rotating things in my mind sometimes just so much easier if I get facing the direction I'm working with okay so let's do maybe actually tougher to fit than I'm thinking if I give it all as much space as I want. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess, you know what? Let's, let's work backwards. Let's work with the assembler. <clears throat> and, well, truth be told, it would be best if it and the whole process ended here because then I could just belt it straight into these drum ports instead of having to bring it all the way around don't know how well that's going to work but if I give myself the three tiles there's yeah that's plenty of space to get any of the belts yeah I should have plenty of space to work with okay so let's do yeah let's work backwards and see how well we can uh, Tetris all this in assemblers okay so, do I 
do I shrink this? Because in reality, I don't need four. Three would be plenty of space. Yeah, I think I'm going to shrink this. All right, so let's see. Is it easy to snap? Let's see. No, that one, that one doesn't snap to the spot that I want it to, but does this one? See, this one does. So this one we're going to change. Oh, wait, it's, yeah, I just remembered. A little trick with doing that. Okay, so bring this to the side, and then we have to go one by one this way. All right, and get rid of this one. Okay, this is gonna make it much easier to fit everything in, in my opinion. Just shaving off that one foundation should be able to fit in a whole X row, which I think will be all we'll need. So yeah, we're just gonna give them both two foundations. I don't wanna, I don't need to squeeze in that many. Okay, so actually it'd be best if the finished product was going this way. Yeah. All right, so that one's there, that one's there. I do kind of hate assemblers just for the power. Although I think what I did in the past was just put a beam there and it didn't really look too bad. I wonder what we can come up with. So maybe the other beam. What if we use this one? Oh. Wait, does it not actually? Oh. Yeah, I guess the other beam actually works better. I thought it lined up better. But you're really not going to get it centered on there. And unless you want to put two of them, it's going to just kind of leave part of it. Hmm. Maybe that's not what I did last time. I mean, I've got... What did I do here? Oh, I did just clip it straight through and then just said screw it, I think, and just went right through the middle. Do I have the same with most of those? Yeah, I just, uh, did I go straight down? No, I went through the middle. Yo, what's up, Tesla? Hope you're doing well. So we've got the bus, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, was I backed up too far? Um, so I added this. So this is bringing the batteries down, and then these six are gonna bring all of the ingots and copper sheets up to the next floor to make everything. So now I'm just working on the blueprints and trying to figure out how I'm going to lay it out because I realized before I plug up the outputs from all these machines into that, <clears throat> those lifts, I should figure out uh, where things are going because it would make it a lot easier if I just plug these things up in a logical order so that my belt work up here doesn't get really gross trying to get one thing to cross over the other. So I realized I should probably lay out all the machines first and kind of work backwards. And I think it will be easiest. Now I'm just trying to figure out. So I think, is that what I did? Where did it go? Did I already do it? Oh, wow. Actually, where is the wire? Oh. 
I thought the assembler was like really bad for hiding the wire, but oh, it's actually not bad at all. Oh, there it is. I guess on this side you can kind of see it if you look close. Yeah, whatever. That's close enough for me. I don't want to have to add. Try to hide it with like a beam. I'll just do it straight down, but it just didn't, it didn't look right. Couldn't get it line up. Some of these machines are like that. It's the it's when things are half a meter off, and I, I'm hoping that that irks one of the devs to change some of the designs a little bit because <laughs> I would really just wish this this ladder actually lined up instead of being on either side of the foundation. It's so silly, but same thing. Actually, that's probably my biggest my biggest pet peeve of the drone ports is the fact that they're one meter off from like lining up evenly oh it bothers me let's make it more or less the one meter off just I don't like it alright so I'm gonna work backwards so this is gonna be the electromagnetic control rods. Throw our power shards in there. Get you overclock. Uh, but how's uh, how's your Friday going? How's your your factory? Okay. So control, copy, paste. What color are these? Yellow and like, like bluish gray. I don't know what color to color these. Black and yellow. Yeah. All right. So let's get some floor holes going. Floor hole there. Floor hole there. So we're looking at, ooh, definitely all Mark One. All right. So with the control rods, I need fourteen. So this is going to take up one full row. And I definitely want the outputs to be, uh, let's see. So I think if we do this and here, as try to squeeze in, is this the right? No. So it'd be this height. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, that's easy, isn't it? Let me just put that there then. Okay, let's grab our... No, no, no. Merger. So this... Snaps there. Alright, and... Grab our Mark One lifts. Wait a second. Oh, I placed these the wrong way. There we go. And there we go. Factories are running good. I'm going to start working on adding support structures to my rail line, ore belt, and liquid pipelines I have floating. Ah, fun. It definitely is, it's one of those things that it's kind of like, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> it, it ends up taking way longer than you think it does to add all the supports. But man, I think it's so worth it. Like the rail lines and everything just look so much better. I think when they have supports, cause I think it's just, 
And I mean, I've seen people do like futuristic ones where they put like a cool like design with some lights and it's just like, oh, we're on an alien planet and they're being supported with anti-gravity technology. I mean, it's sci-fi. You can make up whatever you want. But, you know, as long as it's like you can rationalize it with your brain instead of it just being a floating platform. I just think it looks a lot better. So I try I try to add supports. I think in my first world I didn't. And then when I would like look back at it, I'm like, I really don't like that there's this like just miles long train line, like 100 feet in the air, which is no supports anywhere. I'm really glad that you don't have to build them or especially like you don't have to build it in order and like have the physics like actually make sense with that sort of a thing because that'd be a nightmare right but um i'd like being able to go back and add it and for the people who don't care and just want to just make factories and not worry about that stuff i i think it's cool that they can they still have that option not how i want to play but been driving me crazy seeing things as i travel between factories i know that feeling between a lot of cleanup of old foundations and such it's worth it it's super worth it because if you can do it before it gets super out of hand yeah it's that's that's the way to go in my opinion because i think that's kind of what led me to my very first like start over is it got to the point where i realized i I wanted to clean up like everything like I wanted to just delete the entire like starting area but to do that I needed to create a new factory that made most things or factories and it was just kind of like or I could just start over which is kind of silly because like it's so nice once you have everything unlocked like the end game is my favorite part of the game um so I'm glad it's <laughs> the absolute longest by far So I think I want, so I think I'm going to have the outputs go that way. So it won't interfere because most of the first belts are going to go that way. There's, there was pro I probably should have done this, that logistics tower thing. Not really even a tower, but all those lifts to bring things up probably should have been on the like complete opposite side of the factory. Now that I'm thinking about it. But then they're not right next to the drone ports. And it made it so much easier for the batteries. <laughs> and whatever. This will give me an excuse to have the belts actually running around a little bit. Which is unlike most of my factories. Wait, I don't need I didn't need to delete that. I'm so silly. Okay, so these are all Mark 1. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what these need, so we're just going to do Mark 5. Um, you know, now that... Now that I've put them in here, I'm now thinking that Maybe I just want the mergers on the ground. Like, I don't... I don't actually think I want those lifted up. So let's grab our merger. Since they're just going to run right along the ground and then into the drone port, might as well just... put them on the ground. I guess technically it saves you, like, a tiny bit of material by leaving it on the roof and then bringing it down at the very end but I'm at the point where I don't care about that actually to be honest I don't think there's ever a point in the game where I care about that little material wasted alright so we've got power we've got recipes we got power shards we got the belts um we've got color unless I want to change the mergers and builds but I think white is a good color it helps kind of stand out against the black 
All right, so. Trying to think if I forgot anything. I think that's pretty much it. All right, so let's do CR. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually feel like I may have already made this. Feels like deja vu. Oh, no, that was the heavy modular frames for the heavy modular frame factory. That's why it feels so familiar. I did the same naming. <laughs> So, yep, that, and then let's change the icon to assembler. Uh, yeah, you know, you can be black, that's fine. The world is large, the world is large enough to really start over, but without losing all the tier milestones. I started with really small manufacturing item so instead of 10 items per minute I can do 60 per minute um, I do like the manufacturing 800 a minute I think I see what you're saying yeah no um that's that's <laughs> yeah my first save is just such a, 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 a weird world like the, the starting grass areas just looks like just a nightmare. Just spaghetti and just stuff everywhere. Not really much clipping. I think even from the get-go, I didn't want to have much clipping. But it's a spaghetti mess of just... Oof. And then I decided I would go over to the rocky desert. And I was just like, well, I'll just replace it. And I'll just build up more. And then I'll delete this. Um... But, and then it just kind of like kept spiraling and then I just never, I would just, I think I would, part of the problem with, <laughs> for me was that I was just so excited to keep unlocking more things that I never wanted to spend the time cleaning up or uh, remaking any factories. Like I just, I wanted to build the next thing that was like cool and unlock them. Like, but now I got to get the hover pack. Well, now I got to get like you know, aluminum, and I gotta make Mark V, and then you gotta do this, and I just, I just never wanted to spend the time and go back or clean it up or add supports, and uh, yeah, I, I think I really should have just spent the time, but there is something to be said about it. It is fun, um, starting over when you know a lot more. You do appreciate just like how much quicker you can go through the first couple tiers in comparison to the very first time when you were just like struggling to figure it all out. Is it worth it? Uh, I don't know. Definitely a personal preference sort of a thing. Okay, so... You know what I'm gonna do? We're going to clear the designer. We're gonna delete this. And you know, we're just, we're actually gonna work all the way backwards and we are just going to place this. Not blooper mode. So I can really see where things are and how much space I have. All right, so if I give myself the three foundations, let's get rid of all that. Um, so we give myself the three by three. Oh, and we want to spin this around. There we go. Okay. So now belts are facing the right way. We got the three, the three. Let's see if I have enough material. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. Um, two, four, six. I need 14, so eight more. I did the same to get through the tiers, so that's why I went back <clears throat> and I had to build factories around the manufacturing I did, uh, which was challenging and fun. No, I hear that. That it's a uh, I, 
I think I think I I really like doing like the roads and the logistics because they're they're their own like little mini challenges. It's kind of like how do I get this to there? And you obviously have so many options. I mean, but I think it's fun. Like, which way do I want to do it this way? How do I make it look cool? <laughs> what am I doing? Grabbing materials. Let's grab this. Aluminum. Ooh, we definitely need more. Oh, did I just select no port for that? I did this part there we go all right so cable uh you know what i, I can let it do more than one run i'm gonna go through probably a fair amount all right, so probably should have put this on a hot bar, but we'll knock it out right here. Oh, I'm so silly. I queued up how many more assemblers I needed, not how many blueprints. Well, cool. <laughs> Had too many. Makes life easier. Cool. All right. So fat. That works out. All right, so there's the 14 assemblers for this. So I think in between each row, I'm only gonna give it two. Oh, wait. So there would be a row, there would be a row. Wouldn't be able to do, all right, so I guess the spacing doesn't quite work out that way. So what if I did um let's see three? Ah, okay. So if I give it three. That is kind of a bummer. I can still only fit three more rows. Uh, which isn't enough, actually. Oh. Unless I want to double up one of them and have constructors and assemblers on the same one. How many meals do you eat per day? It's a good question. Usually I have a horrible eating habits and I just kind of eat when I'm hungry. So usually like probably two, I would say on average. How about you? Are you much healthier? Go to the gym. So the other thing is I could add more, but it would just be for the constructors. So one of the recipes only needs eight. One, two, three, four. So I would have that much space to do. may do the constructors on the same one. Let's see. All right. Let's do the next row. So what would be next here? should just be the next the 
two inputs for the control rod. So stators and limiters. Oh, that's right. I'm totally not going to have enough space. Oh, because that needs more than one row. I need 17 for that one. Ooh. Okay, so we'll do that one next, so we can probably share a row. Ah, man. Okay. Um. So AI limiters. So let's go to the same blueprint. Regimented in eating and exercise due to the scare I had watching my friends and family die to unhealthy lifestyles. Not that life is guaranteed every day, but... Aw, oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, though. It's it's always unfortunate when... That sort of thing happens, and um, good on you for uh, fixing up the lifestyle. That's, uh, I mean, really, at the end of the day really all you can do is uh, like I hate to say it but it's almost kind of like a numbers game you know you just got to give yourself the best odds you can uh, to give yourself the best chance but yeah at the end of the day it is a little bit of a dice roll but you can definitely put the odds in your favor I would say by doing a lot of the right things and cutting out bad things so good for you but sorry to hear you've lost friends and family. That's uh, always unfortunate. So AI limiter is taking copper sheets and quick wire. So, so one of them is coming from Let's see, how is this going to be rotated? Turn that way. So this one, I want flipped around because the wire is going to be coming that way. See how many do I need? So for AI limiters, we need 12 machines. So that would be six blueprints. So your standard belt runs are Mark IV. Did I have those Mark IV? No, they're belt Mark V. I, I try to actually figure out how much. Oh, yeah. I forgot I left this running. 
Okay, now you can probably turn off. I try to get the correct belt for how many items are going to be on there just because I think it looks better and it's easier to tell if there's something wrong with the belt. Um, it was like 50 items on a 60 uh, or on a Mark 1 belt is easy to like kind of see. And you're like, all right, but if you put 50 items on a Mark 5, uh, you have you'll have no way of telling if it's running at 25 or 50. They just shoot past on the screen. Obviously, that's like the extreme example, but. Really, it's probably more for looks than anything else and hoping that it's easier on the computer. I don't know why, but maybe it is. So let's grab solid steel beams, grab some plates, grab more sheets, concrete, not there. Still plenty in here. And rotors, rotors, rotors. Oh, we've got a lot of motors. I think I accidentally let those run for too long. Whoops. All right, so there is a very good chance I am gonna have to add on that extra bit for those constrictors. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all of them in here. A little bit of a bummer, but I'd rather not try to cram them in just to get it to fit. Uh, let's see, okay. So let's make sure belts are going the right way. So the top one is gonna come from the quick wire, so it's that one will come from the ground. Got those coming out. Cool. That looks right. So, yep. There we go. There we go. Two and one. And I'll probably just slap on the empty one later. So you have 24 individual drones delivering dedicated items to those storage containers there? Um, sort of. So the way I do it is it's, um, I plop this down and they've all got their little labels on there and then programmable splitters to split off the right amounts. And that just lets me put two specific items in each container because I didn't feel like having to place, you know, like 40 containers to, so every item had their own because a lot of the times I just, you know, I don't need that much quick wire. It can double up. So what I do is I go to all ports and then obviously if you just, it doesn't show all of them. So you have to type it in. So that was why I put A in front of most, but then I kind of screwed that up because then I named a whole bunch of things ammo. So really now I just have to type in whatever I'm looking for. So thankfully, I just know the names of everything. So if it has A in front of it, then I know it's my home factory. Because <laughs> I was hoping these would just all show up in the front list. or But it, it doesn't actually put them in alphabetical order. Like, for some reason, that's there. And A with a dash isn't first. So anyways. So this way, I pick which drone I want to come deliver me stuff. And then I tell it to come here and then I turn it off so that it's not continuously running. Um, and then, yeah, I just have the different drones bring me things as I need it. But I think that I wonder, will it tell me if I do? Oh man, a dash is also brings up all the ammo ones. Oh man, what a bummer. I really messed up the naming convention on that. I should have made it something like Z, I guess. But I think there's... I, I'm probably off by one or two or something, but I think there's 37 different drone ports um, for everything from concrete to turbo motors. 
um, that all have their own drone port and drone just sitting idle waiting for me to tell it, hey, bring me stuff. Oh, what am I sure? Oh, well, that's easy enough. The thing I'm going to cheat in anyways. Give me a whole stack. I need to load up. I wonder if it tells you. I'm pretty sure it does. In satisfactory calculator. How many, how many power shards I've used. Cause I have a feeling I have used a lot. All right, so did I, okay, cool. It is going the right direction. All right, so these ones, this is where it's gonna get messy, I think, because now I need to make staters and they don't all fit on one row. I'm using just the default, right? Yeah. Okay, so steel pipe and wire. So I'm thinking, I, it's such a bummer because I only need. Thirteen constructors. But they're just, yeah, they're not going to fit well. All right, whatever. So, so belts are going to come down here. The steel ones are going to have to go right here, which I guess I might as well, now that I know. I think I'm totally going to have to add this on here. So let's just... Although I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be as big if I don't need it to be. We can still have some fun changing the shape a little bit. Uh, let's see. So you have materials coming from storage containers to your main drone port location standing by to take material when activated. And why can't you use regular splitters instead of programmable? Um, so yes, that is exactly how I have it set up. And the only reason I have programmable instead of, I'm going to guess you meant like smart splitters, um, is smart splitters, I'd only be able to pick one item. So I could only have, you know, AI limiters go into there. Whereas with the programmable, I can say I want motors and rotors to go in on this side. And then these two go on this side. Everything else just keeps passing through. So the only reason is it lets me double it up. Now, what I could have done is just would have been more complicated. You could do it with just um, smart splitters and have a second row on top feeding into the top part and it would essentially do the same thing without having to do this like if you don't have smart or um, supercomputers you know automated that would be a, de a decent way to do it I guess um, but this just makes it easy the <laughs> I will say <laughs> programmable splitters a little weird uh, they just seem to like have their own little quirks in the sense that like I, I feel like I've had one just like stop working and I like I just could not figure out why things weren't passing through it anymore until I just deleted it and replaced it um, whereas I don't think I really have that sort of an issue with um, either of the other kind of splitters but since all I'm really using them for is my own like mobile storage, they're perfect. I think they're great. I don't know if I would use them in like a factory that I wanted to just always be working. <laughs> but I don't normally do crazy sushi belts where it's needing to sort out this much stuff. Like it's a really cool way to do some of the factories. Like I've seen really cool builds use sushi belts and like crazy like conveyor walls <laughs> like basically uh i just i've never gone that route maybe one day i'll try 
like having that like huge long bus where you just have like a tower of uh oh man i didn't put it on zoop you just have like 10 of these and just like a huge wall of conveyor belts where everything kind of like splits off of and then merges onto different lines and everything um it's really cool I've just never really tried um but in those cases you would probably want to use or there would be more more opportunities to use the programmable splitter a lot of times in a factory I I can't find a use for it honestly like smart splitters are just fantastic and I think I don't even remember off the top of my head what's the difference rotors reinforced iron plates and AI limiters and then yeah these are quite a bit more expensive I mean to make supercomputers and heavy modular frames but So if the drone roster doesn't alphabetize, will it work? If you number, for example, 001 drone wire, ah, you know, that's a decent idea. I'm going to guess that it's still like for the all ports. I think this is <clears throat> now, honestly, I have no clue what like rhyme or reason it puts any of these things in like for this initial list and I mean the thing that you like you can't expand the list so the fact that there's only going to be this many that show up at any given time is kind of a bummer I do think yeah the zero zero would be a cool way to do it because then if I type zero zero then all of those ones would show up um so I I think that's a that's a much better than idea than me putting a in front I think numbering them might be a good idea. I might have to go back and um, I'll rename them. It'd be really easy, just tedious having to go through <laughs> each one. But that's a good idea. I like that. Okay, so I grabbed... What was I even trying to... know what I was doing now all right so staters oh well, that's right I was building these foundations fix it um, oh it's a random amount that it came oh I was hoping to leave that out of the factory well maybe we still do because I only need actually Yeah, let's just get rid of that. We're not going to place. Because all I need is one more row for the steel beams. Pipes. Pipes. So I can have it be a smaller section. This is just going to be a really weird looking factory, isn't it? Alright, I think that'll work. Let's just hope. I should be plenty long, actually. What am I thinking? It'll be fine. Oh, that didn't go to the right spot. You go. Oh, you're just extra. Alright. All right, so that means steel pipes are going to be down here. And then they're also going to have to feed back out. And we're going to have to probably cross over. We'll have some fun built shenanigans going on. <clears throat> or run it in the floor. That's always fun. But that does mean that I probably need to
flip around both of the splitters. What makes you determine if you use steel or concrete foundations? Ah, uh, my mood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I for this one I. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to do. I um. I was flying across my world and I noticed that like so many of my recent buildings have just been lots and lots of concrete. Is this? Yeah, this is the direction. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I decided that this factory was going to be different and we were going to make this one largely metal because so many of my other ones are concrete and I don't want my entire world to look the same although I mean there's really nothing wrong with it and um, I just wanted to switch it up so I decided we were going to do lots of metal, although I still have quite a bit of concrete. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm doing, to be completely honest. So, or just, is it easier if they're the other way around? Do I want the top one to be the inside one? Is that easier? I don't actually know if it makes any sort of a difference. I'm going to switch to coated concrete foundation, nice and shiny. I love the coated concrete. That's a that's a great idea. Maybe I'll change the bottom floor down here to coated concrete. That would look good, especially if I add some lights in here. Yeah, I really like the coated. I need to use that more. Um. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Unless. The way it ends up looking really bothers me for some reason. Then I'll change it. But all right, so these are making staters, which are like gray and a little bit of red. So we'll do black and red. <laughs> really, the assemblers have just like the tiny bit of highlight, and that's the only color. <laughs> oh, it's kind of funny. All right, so let's do. Stator. So, I guess we should just do the full, yeah, the full row first. So, which is going to be Staters. So, I need, how many did I make? 16? 17. Okay, so that would be 18, so I need 9. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. Alright, so we need more of everything. Yep. And beams, yep. Oh, lots of beams. I mean, I guess that's fair. I'm using the frame walls, so it's going to go through quite a bit. Uh, cable is here. And the aluminum 
sheets. Oh, right here. Perfect. All right. So let's slam these assemblers down. All right. So let's get it lined up the right way. Get our Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. So gap of three. So I'll go back to blueprint. For some reason, it always flips it the wrong way. Like, I don't know, like in what world you're gonna place a blueprint and then want it to be 180, and then again 180 back the other way. Because unless you swap it, like that's what it does by default, and I never really understood why. Cause there's like never a time where I want that to happen. But if you change the direction once, then it'll just stay in that direction. But if it not, it alternates back and forth. And I don't, I don't get it. I wish I started on update 8 instead of 7. I know what you mean. There are a lot of really, really nice things about update 8. Um, but sometimes you just... You gotta start somewhere, and I'm sure, I'm sure when update nine comes around, there'll be even more quality of life things. Because I bet, well, not I bet, I'm pretty sure that they're they're kind of in their um, production cycle, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, development cycle. There we go, where it's well, obviously changing the engine from Unreal, were they on four, I think? So then it went to like five, and now I think they're going to 5.2 or three, or I don't, I don't know. They said it somewhere. But, um, I guess the, the issue, a lot of the issues that they've had with update uh, or with changing it to Unreal 5 gets fixed with the, the moving it to 5.3 or 2 or whatever it is. Um, so obviously that's adding more to their development time. But in general, broad strokes sort of a thing. They're not really adding like crazy things to the game. Like, can you imagine when you played and like... Um, like be, there, there was a time where pipes didn't exist, and so when you threw down an oil extractor, it had a belt coming out of it, and just barrels of oil came out of your oil extractor, and they were just on belts, and that is just so wild to think about, because man, if you had created a big old save then, and then when that update came out, like granted, I mean they let everybody know like super in advance and all that sort of stuff but like that would be such a nightmare like i would just start over like there's no way i would want to like try to like, <laughs> to fix all my factories to include pipes after that oh what a nightmare so thankfully the updates now are quality of life stuff and it's not gonna like drastically change your factories but at the same time, like, that must have been really cool to be playing and, like, just super game-changing stuff would come out and just, like, all new stuff to play with and do. Okay, so that is all of these. And actually, what I should do is probably delete this last one because I don't actually need it and I can give myself a little space here let's make sure I delete all of these so I don't accidentally hook up the wrong materials okay so that's my 17 of those so let me just mark off which ones I have done here all right, so we've got the control rods, we've got staters now, and the AI limiters. So I still need to place 
Oh, how did I miscalculate this so bad? I was like, man, I've got so much space and there's just plenty of room up here. No issues. And now I'm realizing I, I don't actually have enough space. Uh, I really didn't want to go down to two foundations, but I'm pretty sure if I scooted that in and it only had two, then I could fit in another row. Because right now I'm looking at needing. So I need another oh, full row. I need 13, which is basically yeah, one entire row. And then I also need eight for the wire, which could fit on this one. But I basically need one whole row to get this to fit in. Shit. And I don't really want to extend it to the side. I don't really have that much room, actually. So I think... I think I'm going to need to scrunch this in. Huh. Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. So... Ugh. All right. I should have figured this out beforehand. All right. So if I only did two, we do one there. We do one there. We do one there. And then. So yeah, then it would only have one. So I would have to move even this one in one. So if I did that, then it would be two of a gap all the way around, which isn't exactly what I wanted, but it's sure easier than, I mean, I don't want to add another floor. That's kind of the thing. Lame. All right, do I have, thankfully, Okay, hold on. Well, I'm just spamming all the wrong buttons. All right, let's go to this hot bar and let's just add pretty much everything. All right, so we'll do it in order that we're gonna place these. So, control rods, AI limiters, and then the staters. All right, so thankfully, <laughs> I don't know what I would do without this so I think it should let me nudge it all the way over yeah there we go man if it wasn't for update 8 this would have just turned into the biggest pain in the ass nightmare to get everything over one foundation oh Deleting things 50 at a time. I feel for you. It sucks. All right, so this one I won't be able to nudge enough. So you go there. Facing the right way. Cool. I'm just going to do one row at a time so I don't create a million boxes everywhere. Because <laughs> I hate that. I think I have a few that I need to clean up in my world currently. But honestly, the save calculator is by far the easiest way to do that
Right, and now, I think. Oh. I think we'll be good now. Oh yeah, so if it needs eight, that means that it'll leave a gap of this single empty one. Oh, that works out really well, actually. Definitely need to make sure I delete these so that... That's not all get plugged up. All right, cool. All right, so this is gonna work out slightly less space to work with than I was hoping, but it's okay. <laughs> These things happen, and that's why I gave myself that extra wiggle in. All right, so so then we need to put the eight that's gonna go and finish that row, which is the wire. Which recipe? Oh, fused wire. That's why it's an assembler. That's what I like to see. 30 copper, 7.5 Caterium for 225 wire. <laughs> oh, it's a great recipe. All right, and... Well, we might as well just keep up the same color scheme that we got going on and you just get a tiny bit of highlight. And that's the difference between all the machines. I wish there was a little bit more highlights on these, but I don't. I also don't really want them to be drastically color different. So, wire. And for some reason. All right, so, oh shoot, I didn't even check. Okay, so for this it's, oh, cool. <laughs> Those are set up the right way. Nice. <laughs> I lucked out. It's the other blueprint that I need, I might as well just knock out right now, is the fused quick wire. Another fantastic recipe. Oh man, it uses a lot of good, their copper, but since Caterium is well, like there's a decent amount, but since the conversion is so shitty, like sometimes you can all of a sudden like, oh no, the only other available Caterium is halfway across the map now. So I try to be as efficient with Caterium as possible. Let's switch this to mellow yellow cool so this is oh yeah same things so since it's both the ingots I want them to feed in from this side it'll go out that way cool so we'll do wait uh wire and for some reason you keep resetting where you're supposed to go. Save. So let's add these blueprints to the hotbar and make my life easier. Where did we go? We just added... So wire is first. Where did wire go? Did I... Oh, it's right next to it. I'm blind. Okay. Oh, gotta wait for auto save. Let me use the restroom real quick.
Okay, so let's figure out how much materials I'm missing. So for wire, I need eight, so that's four of the blueprints. And let's just keep up all these. I think I needed, what did I say, 13? Yeah, so that would be seven. Cool. Kind of had a feeling I was short on a lot of stuff. Man, compared to the first save where I didn't have. Now I'm trying to think. Do blueprint? Oh, I guess. Yeah, blueprints came out like when I started the game, but I didn't like. It took me a while to really utilize blueprints, and so. I definitely didn't use them as much as I should have to figure out like how much material I need. Cause that's probably one of the greatest things about doing the blueprints is it's kind of like you put as much into it as you know you feel you need, and then and then it's really easy to find how much material. Because it's one thing to be like, okay, I need you know a hundred assemblers. But like the amount of extra foundation and then the mergers and the builds and all that, then you just kind of guess it feels like. But the to-do list just whew, makes my life easier. Okay, so everything's facing the right way. Oh, that's right. These do 14. I'm so dumb. I was like, wait, why is there an extra gap? So let's have you come to there, and then we're going to delete this one. And I'll just put a normal one. It's a nice little gap. Cool. So let's get our last assemblers down, and then we're going to have to do the constructors. Right, let's get this full row down. Oh, of course they placed it on top. <laughs> like how they're still flowing out there even though I've already deconstructed it. All right, or dismantle, that's what it is. Cool. I like it. Looks good so far. So let's grab our foundations. It's the empty one. Here's the empty one. Cool. Oh. That's right. I'm silly. All right. I forgot that I, I had changed this. So I guess we'll. Ugh. Got to do it manually instead of using the blueprint. Gross. Oh, let's see. We'll just do it this way. Let's make sure. Oh wait. Oh yeah, I can snap to that. Duh. Cool. And then let's fill in this gap. I guess I could have left the gap there, but no, no, I'm gonna try to cover it. Cause I'm probably gonna have to use. Uh, oh, there's gonna be stuff running through that gap. Oh. 
right, so yeah, let's finish getting all the machines down. All right, so if we, how much space? Ah. So we'll say eight, and I needed, I need 13. Okay, so let's go with the You're crazy. I have the materials. Oh, store all. Silly me. Alright, there we go. So now let's load foundations. Alright go back to using a full four wide because we're just going to double these up so actually okay what are the numbers on this so steel pipes 945 so yeah they are coming in two different belts but in total, only 630 is being made. So we're going to merge the outputs together. That didn't line up very well. Okay, so... Actually, look. Constructors are a little bit bigger than... Smelters, this was easy. Okay, so if that goes there, even though it's going to go underneath... That means it needs, like, is that going to be enough space, I wonder? For sure that will be. I'm, I mean, I know it will, actually. I'm just trying to think if that would look, yeah, it's gonna, not going to look good. So we'll just do it there. All right, so flip you around. Does that how? No. There we go. Okay. So I think this will. Okay. This means I'll be able to put. Wait, is this even enough? Oh, wait, it's not, huh? So I think the gap is only eight. Ah. Yeah. So if I gave him this much space, I'd only fit eight. So, well, they definitely need so I think that's actually evenly spaced. Should be. Ah, well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, two meters. Two meters. Oh, I didn't actually mean to place you. Alright, so two meter gap. Thanks for the promotion, but no. Wait, 
think that's actually the first person I've ever banned in my channel. That's fun. I was waiting when I was going to finally get one of those bots in here. Instead of just the random artist trying to scam me. <laughs> I haven't gotten one of those in a while. <clears throat> they finally gave up. It's nice. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, that's not quite lined up. Oh, wait, which one is lined up wrong? You. You're not space, right? There we go. For you? Yeah, okay. So you and you. Same back here. All right, and let's get our steel pipes. It's kind of interesting. There's no alternate recipes for steel pipes or beams. All right, so mark two. For the inputs, we only need mark one for all the outputs. Oh, it's constructors are the worst ones. That's what it is. Constructors are the worst for power. See, I have done this before. Just oh, but it's still just like only really covers up like half of it. That's such a bummer. You'd have to put two to actually completely cover it. I just wish there was a better way to hide these. I'm just going to end up doing this, I'm pretty sure. But so cause that's straight, but then that's kind of in the way, isn't it? So that's the input. Well, I guess I could put the input just on the ground. a little silly just having a random beam there does the other beam look weird it's gonna still look weird I'm sure could spin it but even then then you're gonna have to add one to all of them it does feel just a little out of place I know I did that on one of the machines oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to just gonna roll with it I think Alright, let's see if we can not make this look horrendous down here with the wires. Oh, that's the wrong side. Not look awful would be 
Oh, oh, this is ugly. Because, yeah, I would have to make to do this. It's a whole lot of extra power connections. That I Just to keep things nice and neat. So it's not clipping through lifts because it just looks funny when it does. Yeah. It does seem a little silly. Only because it looks the least weird to me if I just run it straight down. Okay, so I added to this one. Let's get it copied. All right. And so we can actually just run the. Why am I? It's a weird update, eight bug. But Every once in a while, really doesn't happen often. My hot bar will just stop working. I wonder, does it think control is pressed or alt? No, I just have no idea why it doesn't work. Okay, because sometimes it thinks like control is still like held down. I've had that before. So is that, yep, okay. So, you go there, you go there, you go there. Hmm, now I just realized, I guess the one downside to doing this blueprint is it actually doesn't mirror very well. Because there's a two gap, two gap, two gap, but if I put another one, then it's going to have a four gap in between those ones. <laughs> Well, shoot, I didn't, I, I guess I didn't quite plan this out, right? <laughs> and this isn't even enough. I'm still short one constructor, even if I, I've only got room to put two of these. Oh. I thought I had so much space to work with. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's about as close as I want to put the constructors because they start to look I just even though the arms are offset so they they never actually clip into each other when you put them right next to each other I don't really like the way that they kind of like overlap when you're looking at it head-on like this uh, so an idea this may end up looking maybe not great we'll see <laughs> all right so these are also facing the wrong way they need to go this way don't they let's just place up there So let's try this again. Okay, so I think I can make this blueprint still work. Whether we're gonna have enough space, it's gonna be debatable. So let's just lock you there and then like 
that should be the spot. But we'll just double check. Ah, hop our works again. Steel ingots? I need 945. What does that divide by 2? Oh, ho, ho, ho. 472. Alright, so we're totally going to end up. We're just going to load balance the two belts since it comes in just under 480. And that'll look smoother. And then, yeah, we're going to. If I can fit that one, we're going to fit two. We're just going to make it an even 14. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Those products come in this way, and then let's, you know what, for the merger, because since this is going to have to cross over, um, oh, yeah, I should just put this to the edge, huh? It's going to have to cross over other belts. Wow, that's not even close to being in the middle. Oh, Dang it, but then I just ran all the power this way. Oh, I'm so silly. But I think I think I'd rather reroute the power. Because one, I thought it was a little bit ridiculous looking anyways. So I should figure out something better anyways. And I'd rather run these mergers right on this roof. Oh yeah, no, that's, yep. Okay, so, mark one lifts. Fit in nice and snug. Awesome, okay, so make sure we get rid of these. Beautiful. All right, so now, We've got to figure out power. Man, it is only because I wanted it to go straight down. If I could have just placed it even just one over, it would have just ran straight down really nice and easy. Why would I do something smart like that? Ah. Uh. Really, it's either you run it on the inside or I guess the outside, and I think I'm just gonna have to do two row, two lines, and then I'll just connect them on the on the very back. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna merge it over. Uh, so I guess we might as well keep it more hidden and do it on the inside. All right, so. things we do to avoid clipping. Cool. All right, so I think that's power. We got blueprints, inputs, output. Ah, let's see. Well, we get another black and red color scheme going oh, that's right you can use the filter it's so nice cool so let's name this uh, steel right. cool and get the image 
changed. Let's see if my idea works here. So, oh, I forgot to change where this was going. I don't want to leave that there. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I actually wanted to queue up. All right, let's grab some material and we should be able to get these last machines placed. And then it's the super fun time building. All right, so steel beams. Getting pretty low on those. I'm not sure what else I need them for, but eh, signs and whatnot. Do we have more? I could probably use more. Oh, for sure I'll need more iron plates. Yeah, let's just uh I think we got enough of those. Ooh. Real short on both. So let's just Just going to do a little restock in here because when oh we got plenty of those. That's enough for now. Uh iron rods. If I do any railing or what am I trying to think of? Catwalks. End up just going through a ton. I end up needing more quartz, but I'll wait. Um that's fine, that's fine. Oh, that's more than fine. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. That looks good. It's good for some restocking. And let's turn. These off. So they only do one trip. All right, let's grab the rest of what we need. Cable might not be a bad idea. We'll see. All right. Let's grab our blueprint. Let's see if my mad plan actually works or if this ends up being a horrible experiment. All right. So. Oh, and that works. Oh, this little alcove works out perfect. Cool. So they go in there. All right. So this is where it gets interesting. And we get to see if I can get this to work. Wait, what? Why is it? Oh, it's locking on the wrong thing. So, all right, for one, that's facing the wrong way. Now things are facing the right way. So to get rid of that gap, my plan is to just place it there. Because then the machines, all of these things are in the right place. The things that aren't are the like foundations and walls. So even though... It's kind of almost counterproductive or intuitive. We're going to do that. And then we're just going to replace these. Oh, actually, let's get rid of the walls too while we're at it. Probably be easier this way. And then I'm just going to zoop out from that first blueprint. But that way, the spacing for all of the machines and everything is consistent and the same and then I'm just going to tack on two more or would it be easier just to <laughs> would it be easier to delete three of them I think it actually might be than having to place everything manually
just easier to delete than. I really should have queued it up. Alright, so it's just some more of those and some more of these. Alright, is there enough space to even place it? Uh, I don't think there is. Okay, so now are you, you are. Alright, but we need to do the same thing and one two. Awesome. Alright, so all the wall gets deleted. For sure, all of Not that one. There we go. And then... Get all those. And then... Even though it's a little bit more tedious, it is a lot easier than having to place the machines. <laughs> Alright, so let's get you extended. Cool, it's right there. And then we'll grab the wall. That is the quickest and easiest way I could think of <laughs> to get that to all work out. And you know what? I think I, I think it's gonna work. Let's make sure everything's actually. It looks like we're facing the right way and everything. Cool. So let's just go ahead and. I'm silly. Of course, there are some connections already here. This all fits on one belt. Excellent. And then. Mark fours. Cool. All right, so how am I going to divvy up the belts? Do I want them spread out completely? Do I want to try to keep them to just one? I think spreading them out a little bit would probably be the easiest because... Yeah. I think I'll just use up all of the floor and then if... And then I'll just add some catwalks on like this height, I think. Or something. I don't know. We'll try to make it look good. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I forgot. I did this weird thing because the batteries, I wanted to just run underneath so that I didn't have to do this weird up and down thing. Um, cause I wanted to get batteries fed into all of these, but then I also need a way to input the stuff and that's what I came up with, which creates this real weird situation here. Um, I think it's enough of a gap where you can just connect it if it's going up here, which they all are. So let's just do that. All right. So... Is it every, yeah, basically every other one. All right, so actually let's just get rid of this wall. Oh, that's right because these are only one meters. Well, this is all hidden, so. Even though these probably won't all be Mark V, um, I'm just gonna make this section right here all Mark V because I don't wanna have to deal with it again. And there we go. All right, so that's them lifted all the way up now. So for sure, this one and this one are going to be the steel because they're going to go right there. So let's see if we can figure out how this is going to work. So if we So if I try to keep the same spacing, this is almost on three tiles. So if you moved over Okay, so I think this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure, actually. So, if you went there, then this one would go here. And it'll give it that same spacing. Um, which means you could probably pretty much map out where all the rest of them are gonna go. Let's see, so. Two, one, two. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Is this not going to work out? Oh, it's only six. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. For some reason, I thought there were seven. Oh, there is, but it's the batteries. I'm silly. Yeah. All right. So I don't know what the rest of those are going to be quite yet. So I'll just leave that there like that. All right. So. That's not surprising. Anytime I decide to use Mark IV belts, I definitely run out. Okay, where was I? Grab me more case industrial beams.
so keep the spacing the same. And one, two. Cool. And then this can pretty much replace one of those going out. We'll figure that out when the time comes. All right, so let's patch that back up. Excellent. So the other question is, how do we connect all these to power? And I'm thinking something really simple. Well, maybe we'll make it a little bit cleaner than that. Well, actually, wait a second. So this is going to... I think I get these two connected. So there to there. And then... We're gonna get them all connected down like this line essentially. So for that, we'll go from here to here. Yeah. And then that'll snap into there. And then we're gonna do that same spot all the way down. And by doing it that way, Since it, the one time where the sagging power line works in my benefit, because now it's hidden in the floor. So, can we do this without clipping? Or is that gonna, oh, that's uh, perfect. Just barely. Good enough for me. Alright, and then bring you to there. Bring you to there. And these are all essentially the same exact blueprint, so should be no issue. We need these other ones. There to there to there. Cool. So now all of these machines are essentially on their own power grid. So now I just got to figure out how to get that initial power over here. So, well, this is where we have power, isn't it? All right, so what am I doing with this power? Unfortunately, I don't remember. Straight down? Straight down. That's right, I've got to clean up this weird thing because I had to add this extra foundation uh, to be able to get that to work. So I'm going to have to figure out how to merge that in. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, that's that's for the cosmetic part. Um, Power, power, power. Alright, so I was trying... I didn't want to run power all over the ceiling. Right now it's just confined to these kind of areas right here so well then let's just keep on hiding the power so if we do that that should yeah you can't really see it perfect except for that's also probably not quite in the best spot um, are any of these? Yeah, I guess we'll, let's drag it one foundation farther. So we'll go to this one and then up to here. And then from here, we'll just plug you right into the middle. Oh yeah, well, I guess not all the machines are actually connected to each other right now. So, let's just go ahead and 
get the rest of these connections going so that I can make sure all of the machines have power and recipes set. Because that's always just an easy, easy troubleshooting thing that you end up having to go through. If my machines aren't working, is it powered on? Does it have the recipe? So, I'd like to just double check that now. Oh, of course, I'm missing four wire to finish it. So, it's looking good so far. All right, well, I did say I was gonna do that with the steel pipe, so I should probably figure out how I'm gonna do that. All right, so. Let's get you to back on one up and oh man this comes from way back here all right well we're definitely just gonna we're just gonna reroute this almost actually yeah totally from the beginning because <laughs> now that I actually have everything else in place on this floor realizing that I have just so much extra space which is a great problem to have all right so there's that and then there's this one this was mark four and we'll bring you down 
Actually, we can do one, two. Because what I'm going to do is grab my blueprint, my random undefined. And we're going to do a two by two load balancer. That will get you lined up with that belt. Slap you down right there. Uh, realize that I should change this one. So that way I only have to do one turn. Alright, so this one is going to go... Let's see, it should be right there. Into there. And then this one is... Oh, I got the distance just right. Look at that. Bam. Cool. So now, I've got them load balanced. And I only need two Mark IV belts. So, let's do this. You're going to immediately curve out. You are going to go to... There and then there. And then... Oh, that's not straight. So, right there. Should be gone just a touch farther. If we can, yep, cool. So that's gonna go to there. And this one, ah. Oh, so close. Steel and just checking one thing. All right, so I guess I need to figure out. Let's figure out where the next belts are going. So, actually, what are these last belts? I don't even remember now. So I think it's one for copper sheets, one for Caterium, and two... Uh, two for copper. Okay. So for the most part, those are going to go this way. And, you know, I think we can clear the designer. Get rid of it. Okay, so these ones. So steel pipe and wire, which, ooh, actually. All right, let me see if I can wrap my head around this. Okay, so the wire. Is the wire only going to the stairs? It probably is, right? Let's see. 
it is. Okay. So in that case, I actually want, now that I deleted my blueprint designer, I... Actually, hold on. If it's just the bottom one, then it's easy to change. Um, steel pipe and wire. Okay, so steel pipe is going to come from this side for sure, which will probably be easier if it's the second one. Wire is actually going to come from that end and feed this way. So I want to flip all these around. And I think... I think I'm just going to flip them around instead of changing the blueprint and replacing them all. I don't know, maybe it would be faster, but for the one simple little fact that I've already done, you know, the powering really doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, it probably won't be <laughs> too different. Okay, so splitter... On all of these, and then I'm just gonna have to remember to. I've gotta replace these lifts. Um, but here's the wild thing all of these machines fit in one row. Uh, but I kinda forgot to take a look at some of these numbers, and oh boy! It's 1680 wire and ooh, 2800 quick wire. <laughs> so, some of this belting is going to get interesting. All right, so it's all, ah, come on. No, oh man, come on. There, there. Reconnected. Yeah. That's the right way. This is obviously going to need to be three different connections. Uh, the way the numbers usually work out is I'm probably just going to have to slap down mergers in between these. And that's where we're going to interject the... Uh, the next belt of uh, wire. Although I may need to change one or two of those splitters to smart splitters then, the way the numbers work out. Um, but, easy enough. Okay, so... Uh, well, since I just did that, I might as well connect all these up. So that's still, so that's going to use one of those, but I'll figure that out later because I'd rather get the rest of these builds down first and then figure out how I want to do those pipes. 
Okay, so for this one, we need same thing, steel pipe and wire, which means that I need to do the same thing for this. <laughs> the wire. Oh, that's right. So the... Wait. Oh, what did I do there? Wait, how did I get? Oh, that's so funny. I've got to go through and change the blueprint on so many of these because I'm <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> let's just do Control C, Control V. Control V. Um, all right, so it could have could have been a little bit uh, more careful with the blueprints. Oh man, that's funny. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's do that before I ah, forget, and let's just spam the right blueprint on all these lines because yeah that's not supposed to be control rods steel pipe and wire which also means those steel pipe and wire oh but that works out so actually before oh or was that my plan oh man maybe that's what I should have done oh no wait Oh yeah, this works out great. Okay, yeah, so wire will come out there. It'll feed into these first ones, and then I'll loop it around and then feed into these ones. So yeah, I actually got this working pretty well. Okay, yeah, that should be good. So. Let's do. So I think both of these are the same, right? Wait. Ah. This is the one section I didn't redo. Okay, so now we've got all the right recipes. So the copper ingots and the caterium, copper ingots and caterium. Ooh, now the question is how do I want to split that between those two? So we've got... Oh, holy cow. Okay, so way more of the copper is going to the quick wire. It needs 1166, whereas the fused wire only needs 224. Okay. And then Caterium needs to go to both. Wow, so little goes to wire. All right, so there's, yeah, no way that we can do this without having to have a splitter somewhere. <sighs> okay. Wait, where are the, ah, uh, copper sheets are here. So, okay, cool. So yeah, okay, so copper sheets. Copper sheets would be the very next thing. 
well, actually, the first thing from this side. Which, it should end up right on this part of the foundation. So, let's see. And we should be able to place you right there. Oh, oh, that's not, I spaced these out like they were right next to each other, but that's not at all how they are. So let's uh, try this again. Actually, that's not even. Um, no, this one is right here. And then this one is right there and this one is is it right there yep so used to slamming them all right next to each other forgot one all right so there and then so for sure that is mark five. All right, so that's gonna be copper sheets. So let's just go ahead and plug that up. So my copper sheets are, was it this one? No, that's ingots. Aha. So if we bring this one to the halfway mark, we get a nice little S turn. And there goes copper sheets. Nice. So it looks better without my flashlight on. <laughs> a little spastic, but it's okay. All right, so now it's just the copper and cotarium. We just gotta figure out how those two are getting plugged in. Okay, so. Okay, how do we split this? So there's going to have to be a second line. And we'll just run it right down the middle. Why not? Um, and that's going to have to get interjected somewhere. So I guess it makes the most sense. For this to be, yeah, this would be the next, the next one, which I think. So did it go there and then there? So it's gonna be on the line here. How did I space this out? Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's six. Okay, so, so my plan would be for these two to be the copper. Let's see how that works out. Oh, did I delete all the ones that I had placed? I did. I'm so dumb. All right. 
right, so let's keep the space in the same. So that one goes there. This one goes here. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, almost. All right, so it goes there. Perfect. I think this is going to look good. So we need aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum. Okay, so I think what's going to have to happen here is well, one of these is going to have well, either way. All right, so do I want this one? be lifted up or the Caterium? I kind of feel like the Caterium just because... Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's, it's just which side is going to look different. So that would put this one... Oh, but not even... Wait, is that, is that the right height? Is that, it's gonna be like a meter off, isn't it? Oh no, that is the right height. I don't know why it looked different to me. All right, cool. So I think this is what I have to do, which actually works out pretty well because it's at just the height where I can do that to get around it. And I think that doesn't look bad at all. Um. Okay, so for wire, the wire, fused wire, needs a whopping 224. So that means I can just, oh, nope, not that one, this one. So we can just do a mark three. All the way down, well, not all the way, to here. And then there's a nice, Nice little gap there. Perfect. And then fused wire is also going to use a whoa, whoa, big spender here. Whopping 56 Caterium. So it's going to take forever to overflow, and that's okay. All right, so we've got the Caterium there, and then oh, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I don't need to bring it back down, do I? Because it's just gonna end up going to the top one over here, so I might as well just one, two. Ethereum as a whole is only going to have, oh, 289. But at this point, it would only need a Mark III. Because Quickwire needs 233. Yep, cool. 
so let's do... Just like seeing full belts. I think that's what it is about using the correct belt speeds. So the belts are just more full instead of zipping along empty. Perfect. Let's get the... This is for sure Mark V. Okay, so each one of these machines is using 93.75, which, huh. That's really interesting because I'm pretty sure. Nope. Never mind. I'm crazy. What is it? Oh. Was it the one underclocked one? Oh, these are copper sheets. So the copper ingots actually get put out at 93.75. Huh. Never, never noticed that. But those are two recipes that randomly work together. It's so weird. If these were pipes, I would just set them up in a line because it's easier and less hassle. But with belts, it's easy to merge and split. So, all right, give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So let's take a look here. So, oh, that's what I was like. So, yeah, 93.75. And I've got. So, I want the full belt going there first, I think. Divided by 93.75 is a. Oh. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that all makes sense. All right. So, we get the 750 line to plug into here. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then since that should feed the eight exactly, because as I just realized that the numbers work out the same, um, <laughs> it really makes this really easy. <laughs> so pretty, pretty great stuff there. This unintentionally, I thought there was going to be a way bigger hassle of doing uh, the belts. But there's still time. I still have to actually take this wire and quick wire somewhere. Which. It might get a little bit tricky, but. Hopefully not too bad. Oh no, 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 no. What am I doing? You don't go there. You go here. Like that. Oh, auto save.
Okay. So now we just gotta get the Tyrion line. Ran all the way back. Oh wait. Uh, I think this actually probably Mark IV, right? Yeah, it's like 290. So just barely needs Mark IV. And then this goes, yeah, there. Scene. So, Mark IV. Okay, so the next one over is Mark IV. Uh, let's do the Katsurium first. Wait a second. Did I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The first one up top is the copper. It's not actually. Okay, so this one's Mark IV, because it's going to be... Oh, I should have deleted the other thing. Whatever. There we go. Cool. So... This one is Caterium. And that's Caterium. So let's do... We'll bring you down, and then one, two. Easiest to go just right over that. And wow, this is really easy. So we just lift you up there. And let's see, this is all, yeah, already marked for. Bada boom, bada bang. So now the only part where I think I need to crisscross. All right, so I do want to make sure that the 750 is the right, the correct one, which is it's the farther one. So it would be this one. So it would go steel, and then this one needs to be the 750 line, which is right here. So I might just have to do a little bit of... Hopping one line over the other for the other one. Or should I do that with this one? Uh, oh no, I can just bring this around and bring it up. Yeah, what am I thinking? Easy peasy. Alright, so that plugs into this one. And then this we're going to bring out to... Well, let's see. It's a good spot. Is this? No. Is it right here? Oh, it's right on the foundation, right? Yeah. So, that plugs into there, and then you almost reach. And you plug into there. And holy cow, I think. I think we've got all of those ones. Up and running. Ah, oh, yeah. I like it. See, I would like to do glass floor so you could walk over it and look down. It's just the reflection is so bad. I just wish that you that they were more clear. I, and that's what it is. All right, so now we got to figure out plug in everything else up. So. 
Steel pipes just go to staters. The only bummer is staters are here and there. So I think the easiest way would be to run them from here and then just loop it around uh, over there instead of splitting it, running it down and inserting it. Although I guess I would kind of rather do it on this side like that, actually. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So grab our splitter and we'll just have it hug the next closest spot. That seems like that makes sense. So if we go right there, one, two, three. So let's see. Try and like how okay, yeah, it can't run right down the middle. The closest we can go is one meter off. So instead of there, we could go there. And then that should, um, it's going to miss the lift and everything. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. Nice and close, but I'd rather keep it more towards the center anyways. Um, cool. So let's just run this all the way back then. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. It's on this line. I'm so silly. Wait. I should be able to reach there. It just did, didn't it? Yeah. Huh. It's weird. Too far. So there. And then now we can just bring it in. Come on. Rotating them on the ceiling is always weird. Alright. So that should be the pipes. It's straight, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's bring this. Um, one, two. There we go. Bring the steel back to life. Oh, but that's just, just off. It's supposed to be right here. Easy fix. Now it's a nice straight line. Okay. So we've got that going. I feel like well, that's not right. There we go. So let's see. So yeah, you have you have everything. So now what we need to do is we need to take this wire and figure out how oh, this is working. So I also haven't done any of my underclocking, so um we'll 
let's just have it be the farthest one, I guess, to the back. Okay, so this is where we like to let computers do math for us. Okay, so with QuickWire, I need 2,800. This one should be making QuickWire, QuickWire, QuickWire. I've got 12 of them making the max 225. So that means the 13 one makes 100. Alrighty then. So let's do the same thing with this. So with wire, I need 1680 minus the seven full speed making 225. So you're making 105. Cool, cool, cool. And obviously, let's make this one the underclocked one. So, staters, we need 210. And I have 16 at full speed, making 12.5. So, you make 10. So it's underclock for the staters. AI limiters. Same deal for you. We need 140 minus the 11 that are making 12.5. Whopping 2.5 left for you. Alrighty then. I guess I could really take these extra ones out, huh? All right, and then the final row. I needed exactly 14. <laughs> That's so funny. Cool. Well, I don't have to do any underclocking. It's just already set then. Well then. So let's run this down the line. All right, so... <clears throat> So 225, 780 divided by 225. Okay, so starting from this end, so there's one, two, three belts it up, three belts it up. And then two. Yeah, actually, I, yeah, it does have to fit on three belts. So, alrighty then. Ooh, or the way that this is going to feed out of here, do I want to do it the other way around? Ah, let's see. Out of curiosity. So, I need 280 right here. Which all right, so there's enough on this belt with these two. Uh I just looked at it. How much was that again? So one oh five, two twenty five, so three thirty, so we just need mark four for this one. And let's bring you over to this spot. And just run. Bring you all the way down. Oh, that's why. Why coffee stain? Why can I only stack? Mark four belt materials and one hundreds. Ah, I needed to grab more and I forgot. All right. Mm. 
Okay, so... What else? Okay, so I should figure out... Uh, what is it? 225? So I've got 675 on those other two belts each. This is going to need to go to this spot to get around those. And this one is going to this one. Nope. What did I just do? This one. And look at that. Just enough space. So this is gonna run out to here. But I'm just thinking that okay, okay. So that's right, I need the encased industrial beams. Um, see, so this one will work fine. This one, on the other hand, what I need is actually a smart splitter. And the reason for it is by the time the amount gets to this one, there will be enough. But since it tries to split them evenly, uh, I think these are actually going to turn into Mark IVs. Um, Even though there's enough on the belt, technically, the way that it splits, it wouldn't send enough in there. So we're going to do that. And then what we're also going to do is a merger right after. Whoa. Drone is freaking out. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, we'll put the merger. No, that's actually easier. It's right there because those two belts are like right next to each other. So, and then that because, what did I say? There's like 330, but I needed 280. So there's only, I don't remember, not very much left by the end of this. So I can throw, I can, right? Wait, 675. It was going to be less than 100 for sure, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If not, then we'll have to change something, I guess. <laughs> um, let's run this line. So this is going to come up to there and then these are wrapping around they're going in here so actually yeah so that one's gonna come here one two and then the other one is going to from here yeah so that one comes down to here and then I think the middle should be free, so let's just run it right down the middle. So this is gonna run down. And then that's gonna have to get fed in somewhere. And I feel like those are probably the wrong speed. What is this doing, like 225? change all these to mark threes.
thought I was doing so good at picking the right lifts when I was doing these blueprints, but I don't, I just didn't look when I was making all of these. Your save time is coffee making time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting up there now. Yeah. Yeah, the, that's uh, that's why it's gotten pushed back to 20 minutes. What was I? Okay, so these use 100 a minute. And what did I say? There's 675 on here. So... Let's see, two, three, four, five. So at the sixth one, this is where we need it to be a smart sweater because there's not enough to force enough into there. So we're gonna do overflow any. Two. Yep, I think that's wrong. These need to be. Mark two for all of these. Like watching you scramble to get things flowing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the chaos of getting it flowing and then realizing you plugged up something into the wrong spot and now there's a whole bunch of materials where they're not supposed to be. That's that's always so much fun. <laughs> the scramble to try to fix it before I make it worse. All right, so iron rods. I also need encased industrial beams. <laughs> Why are you open? Smart iron rods, encased industrial beams. Just throw away the steel ingots. All right, so let's connect those last Mark IV belts before I forget. All right, so Mark IV, you go down, actually. What? That can't be. Yeah. There we go. All right, so that means you can be Mark IV, and you can be Mark IV. Cool. All right, so that's that last bit. And then we came down here. And let's see, splitter, splitter, splitter. Here's the merger. All right, so you need to come down. To here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I did this in the wrong spot. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Oh, because now have I put too much on here? That would be too much, huh? Just barely. So... So 
So actually, I don't need this to be a smart splitter because what I'm going to do is make this a regular splitter. We're going to add the merger in here and also here because I can't fit this all. So we'll have to put a splitter here. And this madness. I will split the belt and then merge it again after enough has been taken off by these two lines that now there will be plenty of extra space that the rest can actually fit onto. And this should work? Question mark. Uh, was that the only one I replaced? I think so. Okay, so I think that's the wire done. All right, so eventually that'll start to fill up, but until until I can really be sinking the last line, it's going to be hard to see where things are really screwed up. So we've got the copper sheets, and now it's quick wire. Oh, wait. Oh, that's because you're the underclocked one. Ah, there we go, the 250. So is all the quick wire going to this one recipe? Holy shit, it is. Well, the nice thing is, wait, 250. Please tell me that you guys put out at like, <laughs> you guys go out at 225, really? <laughs> oh, that would have been so nice if this recipe also output at 250. Oh, that would have been so much easier. Oh, the fact that it's just that off is, oh man, that sucks. Ugh. All right, well, not much I can do about it. So I'm pretty sure that means, I think, yeah, it can still only fit three. Ooh. Okay, so let's start with, we'll go from the front and oh boy. This little spot's going to get crowded, isn't it? So I should probably move this over and give myself a little bit more space here because this is going to take a few belts to get out of here. So let's just move this whole line one spot over. You need to come to there. All right, so rerun this line. <clears throat> okay. All right, well, let's just start from this side. So, you three. U3, which means you're going to come out to there. And then one, two, U3. Erase that one. So you are going to come to the middle spot. And let's just run it down. Still short on room? Ah, we've got plenty. Look at all this empty space that I'm using. See, I've got, you know, I got to stack. There's plenty. We've got stackable conveyor poles for a reason. And I mean, I could always use this area out here. 
Mm. Just being stubborn, <laughs> trying to fit it all underneath here. <laughs> Sarah Swirl just followed. But yeah, it does feel like I always start with like, oh, I've got so much space. It's going to be all this room to walk around and it never, uh, never works out that way. So that's one too close. Let's go there. And then I might as well just run it on the floor until we'll go to here and then well that's silly you get raised up there and that'll be the same for this one so this actually is going to be a short line right 225 and Sarah versus World. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well and having a great Friday. So we got 225 and 100. So 325. So I just need a Mark 4. So I'll bring this one to halfway mark, bring it up. All right, so, oops. How far does this go? Oh, perfect. All right, so this one is mark five. This one is Mark IV. All right, and where are those going? These are plugging in to here, right? Yeah. Oh, you still haven't gotten copper sheets because I never ran this line all the way down, did I? There we go. There's the copper sheets going. Okay, so. Oh, this is. This is gonna suck. This part's gonna suck, I think. This is gonna be the worst part of the whole build is feeding these into here. Oh, because these numbers, how? So, I'm at 225. So, I've got 675 on a bell. So, that means... Oh, man. All right. Let's just bring it over so we can see what we're working with here. Oh, this is also where it's going to get really interesting because then the staters are going to have to go farther because staters go all the way into here, right? Yeah. And so do these AI limiters. Well, the AI limiters are nice and easy. How many are there? I am going to be making 140, so I just need mark three. And we can just have this one. Uh, yep, right to here. Two. Whoa. I think I lined that up with the lift and not the actual machine. Or splitter. Okay, so. That's the AI limiters, and I can change all of these to Mark three. Just get this out of the way. Okay. 
Uh, I guess, let's just do this. So, 140, so I just barely need Mark three for the finished control rods. Steel beams. Not sure the copper sheets belt looks as full as it needs to be. No. Definitely not. But it also. It's weird. Uh. Uh, we're gonna leave that troubleshooting so just a little bit later. <laughs> Did I get all of these already? Oh, no. Alright, and then, so the other, what are these? They're also taking the staters. Staters in total are... 210, so more Mark III. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad to get the staters up and over the quick wire. Now that I'm thinking about it, because the height levels are different, so it'll be fine. Because I only have two stacks of the quick wire. But where is my. Oh. Well. It was supposed to be a little bit straighter than that. What did I do? Uh. Splitter. What did I line that up with? Huh. I really thought that that would have been the correct line, but I guess not. Silly game. All right, so plug that back up into there. Now it's nice and straight and won't drive me crazy when I fly by. So, so yeah, the staters are there, but we're... Okay, so we might as well... Might as well keep them stacked, and then we'll just run them down this center one, I think. Because why not? We've got the space. Famous last words. <laughs> I've got space. Uh... Where is it disappearing to? Which one is which? This one is four. Yeah. That one's five. That way I know which one's the short belt that I've already forgotten how much it has. 330? Yeah, it's 330. I know that short one is 105. So, yeah. I think we'll give them that same spacing now that I've got a little bit more room. Oh, 
There we go. Uh, let's see. It's usually easier if I add stackable conveyors as I go. I'll just run those next. Alright, so I know the other one won't be able to reach as far. Alright, so. I guess for the staters, I'd go all the way over, so it doesn't matter quite how I do this, but ugh, I forgot that it's going to have to change. Oh, actually, wait a second. I think, I think you can cheese this, can't you? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. So if I do it... All right, so that's even with the machine. So if I do it with the two spaces, or maybe it needs more. Wait, it needs more, doesn't it? Probably like three or f three? Yeah, maybe it's three. So I should, yeah. Get the tiniest little lift all scrunched up like that. Oh, I love it. But now, I don't have to worry about the uh, having to have the belt slope up to get in there. I always forget you can do that because it won't like normally go that short. other ones are going to have to Ooh. yeah I think that's like the shortest this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I guess I can keep the spacing wait wait a second no that's probably t oh yeah so that's the closest it would be able to I guess I'm just going to have to put them right next to each other then. This is so not going to work out well. I just have this feeling that this is going to get messy. So, oh yeah, Mark 1 might not be fast enough. Okay, so there's 675 on three of these, 675, and it was 330 on the short one. And these machines need 250. Did I get these to all? No, definitely not. Wait. Yep. 
But, all right, what a bummer. Okay, so this one needs to be mark three. I forgot to change the correct lift on like all these recipes, blueprints, I mean. Oh, well. It's so much easier if you just have to run down the line and change what mark they are. So that also means the top one needs to get changed. Okay. So, what did I say? They needed 250, right? Alright, so. So, 675. Minus 500. So, then there's 175 left on this belt here. Oh, wait a second. I need to be using... Oh, I'm gonna need to use smart splitters all. Because of the amount left on each of these belts is usually gonna be less than half. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to uh Alright, let's let's get this in the right spot again. I think it was right there and we're just gonna delete you because I think I need to just change all of them I think with this f just this one row of machines uh, it would be better better just to use smart splitters and save myself uh, the headache That's, that's the plan here. All right, actually, we can just delete all these two. Oh. So even though the very last one definitely doesn't need to be smart splitter, we're gonna do it anyways just to keep them all the same. So you go there. Is that right? Hanging off a little bit. Cool. Just wanna make sure before I place all of them. And then have to replace them again. Not that I've done that before. Okay, so a couple more, and of course we're going to run out of something. Rotors, rotors, rotors. Thankfully, got plenty of those. Alright, so let's get these last smart splitters. Down. Start the super fun adventure. I'm trying to map this out so I don't hardly screw it all up. Yeah, that should be good. So let's just delete this. So I don't have to see it egregiously clipping straight through the lift any longer. So these were too far. Mark three.
Oh. I guess that wasn't the right spot. One closer. Wait, what am I doing wrong this time? <laughs> what is it snapping to now? Please don't. Oh, there are. Yeah, it should be that spot. So, I didn't start there, did I? Okay, well, whatever. As long as it works. I'd like to face in the other way, though. Can I? Does it not work if I'm going this? I guess it doesn't go in this direction. I guess you have to do it from the lift into the machine. Huh. Oh, well, I guess if that's the case, then this probably was the right spot. Let's try that again, then. From there to the... Yeah. All right. That looks better. Um, And, of course... Alright, so let's make sure I change all these smart splitters. So any on the right, overflow down the middle. And because smart splitters are weird, I'm just going to open it up and paste it even though you shouldn't. But I found that smart splitters, unless you like actually open them up, like if you just put paste and you don't open it up at some point, like it doesn't register sometimes. So I just like to open it up and then paste it because then I can actually see it change and make sure it's working. Well, in theory, should be working. All right, so super fun math time now. All right, so, so we hook up these two. And at this point, it has 175. That means that I cannot man merge it up with another one of these. But this one only has 330. Oh, cable, you're in the way. So. So if we throw that there and a merger right here, we can do the same thing. I think. Let's see. Ooh. How is this actually going to work? Oh, the spacing might not work out. One, two. Well, I think it's just going to have to be the slightly ugly. It's like half clipped into there. Because the only other option would be... Let's just leave that there. I don't know if that's going to fit. Really good. Yeah, that's too far. Alright. Let's see. So, can it just go straight? It should, right? Cool. Oh yeah, there's definitely something wrong with that production. I bet you there's some lifts that are Mark 1 and they're supposed to be much faster or, you know, something like that. It'll be an easy change. Okay, so at this point, we have 475. <laughs> okay, of course, 475, each one needs 250. So that means... We would have to add another 
merger here. Because that one machine is going to drop it below. So now we're back to 225, which is what one of these puts out. This is awful. Because <laughs> that means I can't just merge just another one. Now I'm going to have to start splitting these. I knew, yeah, I knew this is how it was going to end up being. And I can't really think of a much better way to do this. There probably is, and I'm just drawing a blank. But, man, do I even feel like... I feel like there's so many machines and I'm like, something's just not. Not right, but. I feel like I'm just gonna run out of quick wire, but like right here or something. I don't know. Okay, let's just roll with it. Let's see. I think it should actually work. Should. I mean, I did run all the numbers. So, and here is where it's going to get tricky. So, oh yeah, we just got to go up with the first line. That's all there is to it. Okay. So, we do one, two, three. That is where it's coming in on, right? Yeah. So, oh, I might have to redo some of the power. Or just, yeah, I guess so. What a bummer. It was so nice that it just ran right down the middle. But I guess I'll just have to move it over. Okay, so that goes into there. Yeah, I can just plug this right into the next one. Let's go there, you go there. Are you, oh, that's right. It's just spaced out far enough that that doesn't quite work. I think they'd have to be right next to each other, and I'd rather have that gap. Uh. So this should work, I think. But even then, I think that's only going to take care of... I think that would be... F oh, man, four? Because really, I just need to... Crunch the numbers here. Okay, so where were we at? So it was at 225. 
So we're just gonna, instead of having to split this up, we're just gonna say plus 675. So adding this belt will put us up to 900. So that would be minus 250, 507, wait, no, 250, 500, 750. So down to 150 at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. That just seems like way too many, even if that last one is underclocked by a lot, isn't it? I don't know. But. 150 plus 675 is definitely over our 780 limit for the belt. So we get to do the same fun split. Uh, wait, did I misline that up? I totally did. This needed to be one, one farther over. Oh, uh, bummer. All right, so let's just delete those. Let's just place the elevator mount. Let's get rid of you and you. Uh, actually, what was that? That was a splitter. So since it needed to be, I think right there. Oh, well, let's try to get this. There we go. So one, two, three. Delete you and you and you. Well, now they are right next to each other like I was trying to avoid. And so now I don't even need that because it'll go straight in. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I guess I should have known that because that's why I spaced these or put them where I did. But I have short term memory sometimes. Oof. Okay, so you're going to come down to how far? Is this the merger? So that means splitter. Here. All right, so that goes into there. And then But yeah, we can just add it right afterwards, so Okay, so I feel like I'm I must have got the spacing wrong on this. Where did that go? What? Oh, clip to the wall. Which is the very last one using? Oh, only 50. Okay, so that does actually um, make a little bit more sense then. I forgot it was so underclocked. Alright, so there's that gap, and then we need to bring a lift down. Plug you up 
and let's see where some of our issues are so all right so there's one So, why are you all so short? Oh. No, you all have too much. So you still have too much. Wait. Ah. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be something like this. But that is best case scenario because really I've got a nice little stockpile ready to go. Yeah, which also means these ones of course are incorrect. And now we can just flood the lines with lots of quick wire. Okay, so ah, I see where the problem is, and I'm an idiot. And I was wondering, and kept thinking I was gonna run short on on um, quick wire, and that that's definitely because I forgot an entire line of uh, of quick wire. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> no wonder. I was just, just kept thinking, this just doesn't quite seem like it's going to be enough. And yeah, yeah, it's not. Okay, so how do I finagle this? I'm thinking. Just think of it as having reserves. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, because, okay, so I could squeeze, just move that, the first one over and there, but then this is where we run into the problem. Oh, I guess we just move this over. I still have two meters. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So if I just delete you. Wait. Yeah, you and you. Well, I guess you too. Okay, so you are going to go to the middle. What I, oh, it's trying. It's gonna try to connect to that empty one. Makes sense. All right, so we'll figure that part out next. Um, so you are now going to take this spot. And you can go there. Oh, that's really ugly because I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so. Let's double check it this time. Okay. Alright, so now I've got that. So, that means I've got to. Yeah, I think that would be the easiest, is just to scoot it over. Or... Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's try to make it easy on myself and just mirror where everything's supposed to go before I do it. 
Oh, this one is gonna need two. Yeah, might as well put that there. And then, so, oh wait, I could just, I can leave, yeah, I can leave that. So I think we just delete. <clears throat> you and you and you and you and then this one and this one question mark all right so right down the middle and into where that was and then this one now plugs in one farther you go there and then you're gonna solve my problem of being too short and then we grab our mark four line that's just a little short grab that wow So ended up not being <clears throat> as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright, but then there's the question is where do I fill in this last one? Where did I leave off here? Oh no. Where was this? I think that was at that point. right before I added the last line. I think, if not, I'm gonna have to go through and redo this ridiculous math equation, and I don't want to. So I'm gonna cross my fingers. Uh, this is where I left off. I'm doing my math. So, we'll just say plus 675. So, 250 that would be 500 this would be 750 holy cow I can actually just merge and I don't have to split it first neat well, assuming I actually did this math right, that's a that's a really big if or assumption. All right, so if I'm right, then this line almost reaches. All right, and how many? This is AI lenders, right? So 140 total. So I only need, that's right, mark three for these. Well, <clears throat> now comes the fun time of plugging up whatever the biggest issue is until that shows off what the next biggest issue is. So, looks like possibly, definitely copper ingots. Which... Oh, I have a feeling I know what the issue is. <laughs> More incorrect belts. 
93.75. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Well, at least. That should be. Nice and easy fix. I really wish that I paid attention to these correctly in the blueprints. Although I'm pretty sure I replaced all these, so. No, but I didn't replace the top part, so I definitely didn't. I was wondering if that was going to happen. So just because everything's... No, you're not even getting steel pipe that I... I didn't connect all of those. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> one thing at a time. <laughs> Good. Well, that sounds about right. Okay. Which way was I going with this? This way, then. So, you're Mark II. You're Mark II. You are. You are. You aren't. Did I get the bottom one here? No, I didn't. Ooh. There we go. To get this one too, then, right? Okay. Doesn't hurt to double check. Alright. So, it was only those. So, we should be. Should be able to ramp up to full production there. And let's. See about everything else. Okay. Do we have. So. You're all hooked up down to here. Steel pipe, steel pipe, steel pipe. Steel pipes. Oh, yeah. Just a couple missing belts. Yeah. All right. So these were just full. Okay, good. All right. So, and then we've got the copper sheets that still look a little sparse to me. And that's being made downstairs. So let's take a look. What is our issue down here? So let's see. This is copper ingots, this is copper ingots, this is our copper sheets. Oh, water. Water, water, water. Wait, so, s okay. All right, so you have water, you have water. This is where we don't have water anymore, which is a new pipe, okay. Which is a new pipe that never got connected. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm curious what I was thinking. Because I really don't remember. So, right there. So, where is this? So did I have an extra water pump and not even realize it? Or did I just not bring up enough water? Or what am I doing here? So How did I do this? Okay, let's take a look. So copper sheets. So why? What in the world? Oh. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> I think I know. I think because I needed 700 water, which is obviously more than I can fit in a pipe. I think I meant to split this in half. And then <laughs> I just didn't actually connect uh, that with the rest of them. Because there's no reason these two machines need to be on their own. So, but let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, as long as there's more than like two in one system. All right. So I think because I put in way more water than it needs, I just didn't create like a, a loop or anything. And those should probably just work once. Yeah, it'll just take a few minutes to get that going, but okay. So hopefully that should solve the copper sheet issue there. And we're probably just backed up. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. Um, how are we looking over here? Are we just backed up? Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. So, starting to see a little bit more movement. Our belts are a little bit more full. They won't be completely full since they're not. say they're not supposed to be full anyways oh yeah and then the staters the last piece to get this bad boy up and running so I'm thinking I am just going to I guess I could run it straight that way. But where's the fun in that? Let's run it to the middle of this one. Have it cross over right there. Wait, I don't need Mark V. What am I doing? I'm doing staters. So this is 210. So Mark three. Yo, what's up, Andy? Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Oh, but these are also supposed to be at the second height. So I'm just going to have to bring them back up again, aren't I? Oh, well. No, that's not high enough. And I didn't even mean to do that anyways. Oh. My inventory is full. Do I have just like tons of random stuff? Thought I'd have a whole bunch of ingots or something. Am I blind? Well, now I have staters that I don't want. All right, so let's just grab our lift and yeah, we'll go from right there. All right, I think that's all hooked up. We're still waiting on copper sheets to actually finish overflowing. Okay, so we're starting to catch up here. And I'm impatient and I have extra copper sheets. So I'm going to <laughs> help the system along and empty my inventory at the same time. Isn't that great? Get rid of these 
extra stacks. All right. So, uh, oh, actually, that could just be a normal one. All right. So it's, and we've got our control rods coming in. Now I just got to figure out where do I put the sink? Because we've obviously got to have one of those. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense just to line my damn like right here. Um, yeah, let's line it up with that and then I'll throw in the smart splitter. Uh, let's see. Let's yeah, that's good. All right. Um, is nope one more? There we go. It's in such a weird spot. It just has a weird overall footprint. All right, so I'm making 140. So that means go there. But let's actually get the smart splitter on the actual foundation snapping point. And then, so this is gonna come out like, we'll have it hug this part right here. And, all right, so this one's bringing in batteries and then I wanted to split these up, so that's right, so I'm gonna do a smart splitter and uh, is that yep. Alright. So the reason for that is all these electromagnetic control rods are going to do basically two things. Uh my eventual um nuclear power plant and the space elevator parts. So what I want to make sure, I hate when I do that. I do it all the time when I'm right above belts and I'm placing them. That's kind of annoying. Um, I want to make sure that the power plant has priority. So, if there's a hitch in this last space elevator parts, oh well. But I would really like for when I start relying on all that power and not to just disappear on me. Sweet. So that's the overflow. And now we're going to start filling up that drum port first. Which I think these are powered on. Yep. Oh yeah, hey look at that. I even already labeled them. And I put them in the right order. I didn't even remember doing that. Hot diggity. Alright, so... I think... We're just gonna be cheeky. A little bit lazy. The power here. Oh... Fine. Where can I get this to snap and hide it inside the foundation? What? I can oh, because it's not on. Right, right there. Oh, that's not. Maybe. Can't really where I'm trying to do it. It's kind of a bummer. Well, it's probably like, I think it's usually like pretty centered on the actual overall footprint. It ends up being a good spot. Oh, not quite. Let's see. Just nudge it around until it hides most of the wire. Cool. All right.
cleared out the last few that were there. Nice. Okay, so let's do let's do a little pass and uh, see if we can see any glaring issues here. And then I think I'm probably gonna leave the cosmetics for another day. <laughs> All right, so still feeding in staters, which makes sense. How are we looking? Okay, two full. Cool. Because, yeah, the staters need to catch up. All right, so wire is still an issue because I bet you I have wrong belts over here, too. Oh, Mark II, ah, uh, so did I get it right down here? I did, it's just up top is wrong. Well. It's a nice and easy fix. Yes. Yep. These ones were wrong too. Oh, and we didn't even have it right down here. Alright, yeah. No wonder these were running. Wait a second. They're not even grabbing any. Do they need to re... Oh, just this one? I probably just didn't replace it when I swapped the direction and... Uh, oh, oh yeah, you have staters here. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. So, <laughs> uh, oh, and it lines up perfectly. Oh, okay. That's too good. All right. So I think I can use a Mark 1, right? 12.5. Yeah. So we should be able to slap that one there, this one here, face it that way, and then bam. I was thinking I was going to have to, like, make a merger and... um merge it in there, but it turns out I could just use the merger in the lift and send it right through there. I like it. Cool. So that's the rest of the staters. All right, let's see if there's any other glaring things that I forgot before I call it a day. So we're just way too full. Oh, some of these lines probably just not actually getting started yet because we're still waiting for copper sheets or oh but in general the AI is backed up because the staters aren't going it's going to be hard gotta let this really ramp up and run for a while until all of those stockpiles of extra wire and quick wire are gone hey, you can have my staters I don't want them yeah, it'll take a little while for those to, to ramp up, but let's see. We have any issues over here? Just full? Cool. Good problem. Awesome. Well, there's definitely quite a bit of work to do to figure out how to add some like walkways and make this traversable. 
because I don't think I'm gonna I like using the glass in some places um, but it's just not see-through enough for me so I don't think I'm gonna use that I think I'd rather use just um, some catwalks around I don't know quite how I want to do it but Gonna have to think about it. Um, let me check something here. Cool. She is streaming. So I've actually never raided anybody. <laughs> so let me double check. Slash raid it is, isn't it, right? It's so silly that I have no idea. Will it work from OBS? Oh, good. It does. All right. So let me figure out exactly how to spell her name. So if you haven't seen Matsu... She's a really fun streamer. I really like watching her. She's very sweet. She builds. Um, really nice. I really like her style. Uh, sweet. So does that. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope everybody had a great day, and I will see you all next time. I'm sure I'll either stream this weekend or uh, Monday or something like that. But, um, yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful Friday. Thanks again for hanging out with me while I figure out how to do um, my electromagnetic control rod factory. So we are one step closer to going nuclear, and I'm pretty excited about it. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. feel free to check out Matsu. She's great. And I will see you all next time.